Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Dias. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss the types of recursions basically. See, uh, we already completed the theoretical concept of recursions as well as we completed multiple examples related to recursions basically. So here I'm going to discuss the different type of recursion. That means what to uh, watch this particular video. You must have the in-depth knowledge on recursion. You must have the in-depth knowledge of recursions as well as you must uh, uh, know the internal architectures of internal flow of executions of a recursion. Then only you will understand all this concept basically. So better I will suggest you watch my all the previous video related to recursion so that it will be very, very beneficial for you. Clear cut information I'm saying that we, if you don't have any idea regarding recursion, you will feel difficulties while watching my this particular video directly. So if you have, if you know recursion and if you know the factorial of uh, numbers, uh, Fibonacci series, uh, or something like uh, if you know the simple concept, simple uh, internal uh, working process, uh, okay, memory representation and all these things, if you know, then only you will enjoy these sessions, basically what exactly I'm saying, right? Fine, sir. So the topic name is types of reports, rec recursions, basically. See, recursions are of basically four types. Recursions are of basically four types. So first one, something like called as a direct recursion. Second one, indirect recursion. Third one, tail recursion. Next one, head recursion, basically, or you can say non-tail recursions, basically. See, the direct recursion, indirect recursion, tail recursion, and non-tail recursion. So, so what I'm going to do, I will group these two, and I'll group these two. So, you know, first, in this particular video, I'm going to discuss these two. In our next video, I'm going to discuss the tail recursions as well as a non-tail recursions, basically. All right? Fine, sir. So, here the name says that the direct and here the name says that the indirect okay so here the name says that a tail here non-tail non-tail means you can say something like this is a head recursion also okay so we'll discuss these two basically see what is a direct recursion so direct recursion means what if you'll create a function so okay suppose i'm going to create a function def of font def of font okay def of font so I'll write some code and I'll going to call that same font. So this is called as a direct recursion. This is called as a direct recursion. Means if you're going to create a function and inside that function, if you're going to call same functions, observe very carefully what I'm saying. You will create a function inside that function body. You will create, you will call a same function. This is called as a direct recursion. That means it is a simple recursion. We already completed all the examples so related to simple recursions is only. Okay, now I hope it is clear. So this is called as direct recursion. Observe very carefully. If a function calls same function again, it is called as a direct recursion. Basically, observe very carefully. I created a function called as font, and I'm calling same functions basically. Okay, now nah? right. So this is called as what something like a direct recursion. We already completed few examples now. Nah? All examples are related to direct recursion only. If we'll talk about like factorial of a number, direct recursion. If we'll talk about like a how to print uh, something like one, two, three, four, direct recursion, how to print a star. We already completed these type of examples so in our previous video. Simple, all are coming under direct recursions or you can say direct recursions. I hope it is clear, right? Right. So if we'll talk about like examples, have a look once. So this example, this particular examples I completed. This examples I completed, yeah, you can watch, right, this particular video. So this is called as a direct recursion. So here it is a phone and here it is a phone. Calling directly or not? Yes. Sir, we are getting difficulties. If you are getting difficulties, you have to wait till indirect recursion. Then only we'll get what is direct recursion is actually. I hope it is clear, right? So in this particular example, what exactly it will going to print? Uh, I think by looking the code, you can say right already. If you if you if you already watch my videos, within few within few second you can tell the answers basically. So one we are passing, one will store inside num. This condition false. Go to else part. Print num means it will going to print one. Then it will going to call same function again by passing num plus one. That means if I passing two, so num is equal to two. No, it will going to print num. That is a two. Then by passing three, so three no, so three four five it will going to print and whenever the num value is a six it will going to return we already completed don't think he, i'm doing cheating kind of things with you no no i'm not such type of persons basically right so i already completed internal architecture flow diagrams and everything so you can watch then only you will get how depth i completed these things so that's it so that's clear cut information this is called as direct recursion no need to discuss 
again and again maybe feel you will feel bored okay clear direct recursion function call same function again so next indirect recursion now you will get uh, the clarity regarding direct recursion in this particular indirect recursions basically see indirect recursion means what not direct first of all indirect means not a direct basically so here we'll talk about indirect recursion means what suppose i'm going to create a two function observe i'm going to create a how many function two function one is called as pawn one okay na? I, one is called as pawn one and another function i'm going to create a called as a pawn two is it clear now so i'll write some code and here i'll write some code see inside a phone one if i'm going to call phone one this is direct recursion so inside a phone one i will going to call phone two and inside a phone two i will going to call phone one getting now what exactly i'm saying see have a have a look once what i what i have done so i created how many functions two functions inside a phone two i in, inside a phone one i call phone two inside a phone two i call phone one both are these are called as what indirect recursion so basically right i hope it is clear now so you have two functions inside this particular functions i call two font two and here font one this is indirect recursion sir how it is working and all internal architecture diagrammatical representations so dry run everything i will discuss don't worry watch till end you will get everything as a clarity fine have a look one sir if we have two functions of phone one and phone two inside phone one phone one body we will call phone two inside phone two body we will call phone one is called indirect recursions basically i hope it is a clear cut informations i hope all right sir next if you'll observe very carefully these two functions are indirectly recursive because they call each other they call each other's now so that's why they are called as indirectly recursive have a look once we have a function called as phone one inside phone one we have a function called as phone two inside phone one we are calling phone two inside phone two we are calling phone one okay now clear okay so we will move towards uh, the example part or you can say programmatical part of indirect recursion so that you will get more clarity basically right so fine right uh, so i will going to open my vs code yeah i think i created one file right sir i created basically so right sir so what i'll going the topic name is indirect recursion basically okay indirect recursion fine sir so what i'm going to do i will going to create a i'll going to create a two function def of phone one def of phone one and def of phone two def of phone two i'll going to create def of phone two so what i'll going to do key inside a phone one i'll write some code basically i'll going to write some code i will write here something like norm and i'll going to write something like norm watch till end you will get clarity it is a hundred percent guarantee from my side so inside phone one, what exactly I'll going to do? I'll going to check if num is less than equals to, if the num is less than equals to five or six, whatever it may be, six. Then something like, uh, I will going to write a print. I'll going to write a print, something like f, and here I'll going to write a phone one, and I'll going to write a, for what you are doing means wait two or three minutes you will get 100% clarity and um, that's it and what exactly I'm going to do num is equals I'm going to call again fun one fun two in observe inside fun one body I'm calling fun two by passing num plus one or uh, and finally I'm going to write what the return okay Next and after that here what exactly I'm going to write uh, if uh, num is less than equals to 6 uh, num is less than equals to 6 uh, something like a print uh, f and something like font 2 and here I'm going to write uh, num into 100 observed uh, very very carefully num into 100 so now I'm going to call font 1 see inside font 2 I'm calling font 1 and sir, I'm not getting anything till now I'm not completed the program as well as till now I have not discussed the dry run you will get the clarity after discussion of dry run basically fine sir now what exactly I'm going to discuss basically 
Mm, inside phone one, I'll going to call phone two by passing num plus one. And finally, I'll going to write a return. Yeah, beautiful. I'll going to call phone one by passing. I can pass one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so what is the output basically? See, first I'll get what one. Uh, see, observe. First time I'm 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 passing what one. This one will store inside a num. So one less than equal to six condition true or false? Yes. So it will go inside and it will going to print what a pawn one num into two. Num is how much one? One into two is how much two? So pawn one two it will going to print. So pawn one is equal to two. Okay. Pawn one is equal to two. Next and after that it will going to call pawn two. What exactly it will going to pass? Num plus one. Num is how much one? One plus one is how much a two? So two will receive by this num to two, two less than equal to six condition true. Go inside a pawn two is equal to two into hundred. That is a two hundred. And again, it will going to call pawn one by passing what a num plus one. Num is how much a num is a two. Two plus one is how much a three. Three less than equal to six condition true. Go inside a pawn one is equal to three into two is a six. Next time four into hundred. Four into um ten is equal four into one hundred is equal to four hundred. Next time five into two is a ten. Like this you will get. Have a look once. Yes, yes, pawn one is equal to two, pawn two is equal to two hundred, pawn three, pawn one is equal to six, pawn two is equal to four hundred, pawn one is equal to ten, pawn two is equal to six hundred. Basically, we are getting output, right? So, can you discuss practically so that we will get more clarity? Yes, definitely. I'll going to discuss practically so that you will get more clarity. I hope, right? Fine, sir. One minute. Yeah. So, what I'll going to do? I'll going to copy this code. And I will open my pen draws. Everyone try to attend till end to get the clarity or else you will not get anything. It will be wasted kind of things for you. I will make it as this color is good. Huh? I think this color is good. Yeah, good. I hope it is good. Yeah. So what I'm going to do. Yeah. So, give me one minute. I will cut this one and I'll going to paste at the end. Yeah. Right, sir. So, first of all, the program executions will be start from here. Program executions will be start from here. I'm going to use something like black. It will be more beneficial for me. Right. Yes. So, execution will start from here. So for the executions of this particular functions inside a stack memory, it will going to create a frame. It will going to create a frame basically. So inside this frame, if you'll observe very carefully, observe inside this frame, it will going to execute what? It will going to execute the, this line of code. See, already we completed this type of examples in our previous videos. You can watch, right? So fawn one. So here, if you'll observe very carefully, this is a function calling fawn one. So phone one means control will jump to here, right or not. That means for the executions of this particular function, sir, inside a stack memory, it will going to create a frame. It will going to create a frame and it will going to execute to this many line of courses actually. Fine, right, sir. So it will going to create another frame. It will going to create another frame. And what is the frame name? What is the frame name? The frame name is a phone one. The frame name is a phone one, okay. And what we are passing at the time of calling, we are passing one. So what is the num value here? Num value is a one. Num value is a one, basically. Num value is a one, basically. So not one less than equal, go inside, go inside. One less than equal to six, a condition true or false. One less than equal to six, a condition true or false. This condition, condition is true. If the condition true, go inside, go inside, go inside. Observe very, very carefully, go inside. Print phone one, one is equals to num into two. That means in output screen, what you will get? Phone one is equals to num is how much one? One into two is how much? Two. You will get this one as an output first time. Okay, now fine. Next and after that, if you observe very carefully, next we will move towards uh, this particular line. And this is what a function calling. And we are calling which function? Phone two. We are calling phone two. That means uh, for the executions of phone two, it will going to create one more frame. For the executions of phone two, it will going to create a one more frame and it will going to execute what uh, now font to basically so i'll going to cut this uh, font to basically and i'll going to paste it uh, here 
ओके ना फाइन सर नाउ यर हियर नाउ यर नाउ यर हुयर सर नाउ यर हियर बेसिकली एंड वी आर कॉलिंग फॉन टू राइट सो फॉन टू दैट मीन्स वी आर टू यर पासिंग नम प्लस वन नम इज हाउ मच वन वन प्लस वन इज हाउ मच टू वी आर पासिंग टू दैट मीन्स दिस नम विल रिसीव हाउ मच नम विल रिसीव टू एंड हियर द नम वैल्यू इज वन नम विल रिसीव टू सो वॉट इज द फ्रेम नेम फ्रेम नेम इज अ फॉन टू सो गो इन साइड चेक टू टू Less than equal to six. Condition true or false? Condition true. If the condition true, go inside a print. A print. A phone two. Observe very carefully. Phone two is equals to num into hundred. Num is how much? Num is two. Two into hundred is how much? Two hundred. So first time you will get this one. Then you will get this one. Next go to this particular line. So we are calling what? We are calling phone one by passing num plus one. Basically, num is how much? Two. Two plus one is how much? Two plus one is how much? Two plus one is a something like called as a three. We are passing three, and which which one will going to it will going to execute? It will going to execute this one. On one, it will going to execute. Have a look once, sir. Yeah. So now, if you observe very carefully, we are here, and what we are passing? We are passing two plus one. That is three. This three will receive by this num. So what is the num value? Num value is a three. What is the frame name? Frame name is a fawn one. Okay, fawn one, and this is a two. So fawn one. So go in, go to next line. Num less than equal to six. Num is how much? Three. Three less than equal to six. Condition true or false? Condition true. Go inside. So fawn one, fawn one is equal to num into two. Three into two is how much? Six. So first time it will going to print a two. Then it will going to print two hundred. Then it will going to print a six. So now we are here. Then go to next line. Again a function calling. Again a function calling. We are calling which function? Pawn two. What we are passing? Num plus one. Num is how much? Three. Three plus one is how much? Four. 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 We are passing how much? Four. And it will going to create for frame for pawn two. It will going to create a frame for pawn two. And it will going to execute the pawn two. Right? Pawn two. Pawn two. Observe very 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 carefully what I am saying. Right. So now, if you observe very, very carefully, so we are calling this particular function sir by passing three plus one that is a four. Num value what? Num value here is a four. And what is the frame name? Frame name is a font two. So it will going to check four less than equal to six condition true. Go inside. It will going to print a font two is equals to four into hundred that is a four hundred. It will going to print. Now we are here. Go to next line. Again calling phone one. Again we are calling which functions? Again we are calling phone one functions. So again we are calling. I think yes, phone one functions we are calling. So that means for the executions of phone functions, it will going to create a memory inside a stack, right? Fine, sir. So if you observe very carefully, now we are something like here. Now we are something like a here, and we are calling by passing what num plus one. Num is how much? Four. Four plus one is how much? Five. So this num will receive how much? Num value will receive five. What is the frame name? Frame name is a fawn one. Okay. So five less than equal to six. Condition true or false? Condition true. Go inside. It will going to print what? Fawn one is equals to five into two. That is a ten. So go to next line by calling. We are calling font two. That means again it will going to create a frame. What we are passing? We are passing six. We are passing six. Six. We are passing. We are passing basically six. So we are copy this one. I am going to paste it here. And if you observe very very carefully, so wait one minute. That's clear cut information. And it is taking some too much time, right? And recall some record time. So now we are here. We are calling and we are passing what? Num plus one. Num is how much? Five. Five plus one is how much? Six. So this six will receive by this num. What is the num value? Num value is a six. And what is the frame name? Frame name is a fawn two. And this is a six. And this is six less than equal to six. Condition true or false? Condition true. Go inside. What exactly it will going to print? A fawn two is equals to is equals to six into hundred. That is a six hundred. It will going to print. That is a six hundred. It will going to print. Next and after that we will move towards this particular line. Again we are calling phone one. Again we are calling phone one. For the executions of phone one, it will going to create a frame or not? Yes, it will going to create a frame. And inside that frame, it will going to execute a phone one basically. So have a look once. Have a look once. Have a look once. 
yes. So if you'll observe very carefully, what we are passing num plus one. Num is how much? Six. Six plus one is how much? Seven. And what is the frame name? Frame name is a fawn one. Frame name is a fawn one. And what we are receiving? Num is equals to seven. We are receiving. Check the condition. Seven less than equal to six. Oh, condition false. If the condition false, it will go to return part. It will go to return part. Okay, na. So return means it will going to destroy from the memory, right? Okay. Think a minute about it. It will going to destroy from the memory, right? Okay. So that means this one will destroy from the memory, right? Next, there is nothing. There is nothing means it will again it will go to here, right? It will go to here. Next, there is nothing means again return. That means it will going to return from the memory means completed now again it will go to here nothing return next return next return return and they all are deleted right there is nothing to do na right so now finally it will going to return to this one now it will going to return to this one and there is no more statement to execute and these things will deleted from the memory so if you will observe very carefully what is the output phone one is equal to two Font 2 is equal to 200, font uh, 1 is equal to 6, font 2 is equal to 400, next font 1 is equal to 10 and this is a 600. Observe very carefully. Yes, we are getting this one. 2, 200, 6, 400, 10, 600. Observe 2, 200, 6, 400, 10, 600 basically. And I hope it is clear and this is called as what indirect recursions basically. So. Inside phone one, you have to call phone two. Inside phone two, you, phone two, you have to call phone one, basically. Okay. So I hope it is clear. And thank you so much for watching this particular video. Still, if you have any doubt, you can post in a comment section. And one more thing I'm saying, ki, um, watch two, three times. What is the problem? Nothing, right? And um, um, draw this uh, diagrammatically internal architectures by your own so that you will get more clarity. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. We'll meet in the next video for continuation. Thank you so much.